1660, possibly, around Peter Stuyvesant's reign um, in New Amsterdam. But welcome. We're so glad to have you all here. Um, you are in for such a treat this morning. You are going to see a number of skits and commercials that Mr. Dixon and I had nothing to do with. Um, and, and I mean it. Everything you're going to see today, all of the staging, all of the raps, all of the songs, all of the humor, the costumes, the sets, um, are all these guys. And it really represents a synthesis of everything they've learned throughout the entire year. You know, there are references to the Lenape in here, and to the Age of Exploration, and of course, learning all about New Amsterdam. Um, and also what they've learned about working together, being good friends, and, and teamwork. And of course, um, all the academic stuff, the reading, the writing, social studies, note-taking, and working together. So we're going to start this morning um, in a typical school in New Amsterdam. And then we are going to move through a timeline of history. Um, and we have skits and commercials that represent <clears throat> four of the director generals of New Amsterdam and significant events that happened during their leadership. So please um, welcome to a school in New Amsterdam. A day in the life of a one-room schoolhouse in New Amsterdam. June 8th, 1642. I have an announcement. <laughs> you guys, I just saw a teacher, Mr. Rowlandson, walking away from school. Wait, is today a holiday? It's Pink's today! It yeah. is! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cut it out! Pinkster Day was three weeks ago. Maybe Mr. Rowlandson's still celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> fun of me? <laughs> Good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Are you a girl or a boy? A girl, sir. That's what I thought. <laughs> now, who can tell me where do girls sit? <laughs> yes, my boy. Right. It's funny, this doesn't look like the back of the classroom, now does it? No, you don't need to go to the back. You are clearly just learning. So why don't you stand in the front and hold this back side? No buts. Silence. Or feel the wrath of my plaque. Now get out your horn books. And start with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Who made that sneeze? I sure. During the Lord's Prayer? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are very sorry. You're also very weak. We need to make you stronger. Here, hold these heavy books above your head <laughs> for the rest of class. I'm sorry I was late. Uh, my mother needed me to carry water for tonight's supper. Oh. So you were late for me because you were carrying something heavy for mother. Yes, sir. Well, very good. Then she'll understand that you shall be late for her because you will be walking home with a heavy wooden plank tied to your leg. <laughs> <laughs> you just hurt my feelings, young man. I'm feeling very hurt. Now you must feel hurt too. Sit here on these tacks. <laughs> now, I have to go to the bathroom. So, in the meanwhile, I want you to study your horn books, the history of New Amsterdam. There will be a quiz when I return from the bathroom. <laughs> You guys, 
surprise, Mr. Wallace, he just watches the tavern. No surprise there. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be back in a long time, so let's do some skits. Yay!